<coughs> yeah. <laughs> where where are we? We're at the farm, yay! Bob, I thought you were the boss. <laughs> Everybody asks about Bob. Yeah, a little touch of COVID. <laughs> hey, babies. This is our old farm cat who got his eye shot out, and everybody inquires about Bob. And he's doing well. He's so healthy. He's such a good boy. And many moons ago, farm girl was... <coughs> Were you jogging, Jen? Farm girl was jogging, and this little tiny kitten came out of the woods. Right? Hi, friend. <clears throat> Is your owl flying? Hi, Holly Hobby. Yeah. We're I picking up. We got the grandbaby. I'm so glad you saved her. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> She's so cute. You're so cute. <laughs> You're so cute. Aww. Farm girl is going to be 55 come July. <laughs> You're so strong. I'm fighting a cold. Aww. Poor Papa. So how long has it been oh, so for Bob since his ordeal? Um, almost three years. Almost three years. Wow. Yep. So it was a long, drawn-out ordeal. It was like I'm April, watching you, baby. April 30th. What you doing? <laughs> <coughs> and he. Uh, 2018. He, yeah. It looked kind of like we could save the eye because he got shot right in the corn, right in the bridge of his nose, right adjacent to the eye, and we believe it was a a pellet. The pellet is still lodged in there. We thought it was a 22, but that would, it surely would have done more damage. Um, but we ended up with, with lots of vet bills and we finally had to pay to have the eye removed. And he's, he was a lot more comfortable after that, weren't you, Bubby? We thought about putting a marble in there, but then people advised against it, you know, a fake, like something to fill out the socket and then they sew the tissue over it. But we didn't go that route, did we? Some people said that's not good. <clears throat> but they said, oh, you're getting frisky, huh? Yeah, he gets frisky. <laughs> but they said, if you do, if you don't remove the eye, he could, he could, get the rapidly progressing cancer in there. So we did. Oh, it's just about springtime. And I see Sila, the other kitty is hanging off the edge of the bridge. She's drinking. I see you. Are you drinking? He's, either she's drinking or she's eating algae. Isn't that a picture? They built that little <coughs> dock many years ago. Now it's, uh, it's falling off. Falling apart, isn't it? Boy, this has to be a video for people that like farm cats, I guess. Now, Bob does not venture away. What happened was uh, he, he went to, Jennifer and I were out here walking and enjoying a day just like this, a beautiful day. And Bob was laying out in the sun right here on the road and uh, we finished walking we went in the house and then we heard meowing about five minutes later after we went in the house and bob was 
standing there with blood dripping from his face. And uh, we thought he'd been bitten by a copperhead in the face and couldn't imagine that what he had done was somebody moved in right on the other side of my neighbor here and she was keeping chickens. She started keeping chickens. Well, Bob has lived with chickens all his life and he used to just wander around the, this little vicinity here. You know, it's only 50 paces over there. And that woman saw Bob wandering around and she got a, a you know, putting all this together because they were new in the neighborhood. And she got out her pellet gun, I'm pres presuming, and shot Bob, thinking that he was a threat to her chickens. And really, he was just roaming his little, his little territory. And everybody is friendly, you know. There's, there's only, there's a house here, and they would never harm an animal. And the other house next to that, they have like 10 cats. They love cats. So everybody was in agreement that we were good. Cats are good. No, but then we didn't take into account that somebody, some renters had moved into that house. And <clears throat> it was only two or three months later when the cat was shot. All my neighbors being accounted for. And Bob was only, was in with a minute of home. Like I say, it was five minutes after we saw him laying out like this that he came running in with a bullet in his face. And uh, all these all these neighbors are good. They all knew Bob. But again, you when somebody new moves in your neighbor your area, you gotta you gotta be mindful of their behavior. And everybody says, Oh, you should never have a cat outside. They're so destructive, Will. He's as soon as we took him in, he was born outside. This is this is his terrain. This is he was born in the woods right there. Right there in a culvert. And we neutered him. And he lives on his terrain. And people say, Oh, you shouldn't let him, let your animals outside. They're destructive and a nuisance. Well, he's not a nuisance. Yes, they do kill lizards and and some birds, but He's older now, and uh, he's a good farm cat. Anyway, that's enough about that. So this is wisteria. I bought a little bucket, a little pot of wisteria, and I planted it here thinking that it would you know, the beautiful purple flowers, thinking that it would grow onto this post and make, you know, I could trim it out and keep a nice little uh, cluster of gorgeous wisteria, but it decided it wanted that tree. And boy, is it taking it. And this has been, look at that twisted, I just love the way wisteria vines grow. Look at that. And I have a friend, an old timer, that used to cut, go and harvest this twisted, he called it twisted wood, and he would make canes out of that. You carve it into a cane, and at the top he would put two snake heads or something. Very cool. But uh, look what it's done. It's taken this tree over the... Gosh, that has to have been years ago, huh? Maybe... Maybe eight years ago that I bought this. Oh, I like that one. Thank you. Abby. Oh, hi. <laughs> He's ratting. He is? Looking for rats. He's looking for more dirt so he can get dirtier. Do your job, Bob. Go this home? tree has got to come. It got, it go got leaned. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. It got leaned over in a hurricane. Uh, what was that hurricane, Jen? The big one? Florence. Florence. Hurricane Florence caused this tree to list like this. So I was just looking online and I can buy a harness kit for $250. My wife says, hell no. And, you know, some climbing gear for about $350. Well, it would cost me to have a contractor at least $600, $650, 
to take this tree. It's a nice big pine tree, but I was thinking, and those, uh, those cleats, those climbing rigs that you put on your boots, they're a little bit too small for this tree. So I could build a ladder, we could literally build a ladder up that tree and uh, use by the harness stuff, climb the tree and top it and start working my way down so that it doesn't take out my shed. Now that shed, I've got to put a new roof on it and my contractor wants $1,600 to start, but he's also got to make some repairs. So I'm gonna, if I'm gonna spend 2,000 or do that work myself, and I want this tree to take it out. So there you go. Ruby, where's your license? Where are you going? <laughs> We're going to put it away. Push okay. your foot on the gas. I don't like it. I don't That sure looks like fun. I wouldn't mind having one of those. I know. I dreamt about stuff like this when I was a kid. Yeah. They didn't have any such thing in the 60s. Do you we, have some Easter eggs for me to hide? We found some strange things at the farm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's my friends. It's my friend Callie. <laughs> Again? Give me the Easter bunny. <laughs> <laughs> what a cute bunny. You little cutie. Old Ruby, I'm going down. <laughs> this is like a Fellini film. <laughs> Ruby, we're making our own Fellini film. Ruby, you know when you have friends, you don't. You only do one at a time, okay? Yeah. When you have your little friends over. <laughs> we hit, we did this with our babies when they were this small. Ru Ruby's daddy. Your daddy played on the trampoline with us, Ruby and Anaheim. Yeah. How can you breathe in there? <laughs> it's not very easy. <laughs> this is a great time of year for that. It's getting warm. <laughs> when Ruby's oh, out of the, honey. I want Ruby out of the way and I want you to do the thing where you jump and fall on your back and then come back onto your feet. Ruby, come over here. Come here, Ruby, Ruby, come here. I want grandma to do the thing where she jumps. Just prior to doing any, any fancy in, flips. In the no, not your in butt. The middle, in the middle. Just, so your face is aimed straight at the sky. <laughs> no, don't break your back. My goodness. Wait, you need your bikini. Remember? Yeah. Not that really. was the first YouTube video that YouTube age restricted because you were wearing a bikini. I'm a bird. Stand over there, Ruby. Hold on to this. Yeah, you hold on to Grandma's hand. And Pappy gonna show you. <laughs> See, like oh, that. Yeah. Go! Oh, <laughs> Grampy's an athlete. <laughs> All right, Jen, conjure up your electrical current, and let's see. If we can't see it, we can hear it on the on the video. Yeah, you can hear it. All right. Ready? Ready? Go slowly. Touch my touch my finger very slowly. <laughs> Come on, we're gonna we're, we're gonna go get some something to eat. Careful, go slowly, okay? You're such a big girl. You got it. Wow, that's like climbing a building for you, huh? <laughs> She's good at that. She's gonna be a rock climber. Put your arm under, honey. Look, look, look. There you go. 
arm onto the other side. Never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> you know, it seems to last forever when they're little and you can't wish it away. Okay, lock yourself up. What a girl. You can do it. There you go. So what do you think you roast a day? Sometimes lately, 20 pounds. A lot, yeah. yeah. 20 yeah. pounds, probably. Yeah. Um, we're ramping up slowly, but actually the last couple weeks it's been getting busy. So, yeah, I know it. love you're, it. You're a busy girl. It smells like coffee everywhere around here. <laughs> I love Banshee Moon Coffee. I drink Me it, too. I drink mm. it every morning. And it smells so good. I bring it to the post office and they're like, what smells so good? <laughs> My packages. <laughs> and where do you get it? Uh, Etsy.com slash shop slash Banshee Moon. And what does it make uh, a good gift for? Christmas, <laughs> birthdays, Father's Day, Mother's Day. Oh. Yeah. Good thinking. Flag Day. <laughs> President's Day. Veterans Day. Yes. All right. Nice. Yeah.